Can you do that? Look at your head. Okay. And you're talking about having your shoulder over your arm. Yeah, like yeah. So if, if you want to do a press, so I generally when you're starting out, yeah. I advise against press just because, like, if you're here yeah. and someone rips you out, suddenly you're outside your shoulders, yeah. you've got to be really mindful of that. Mm -hmm. But and when you're pressing, you really want everything to be in a line because then. And you can just press down like Because you, you basically you use more weight, like you can't, you, there's a point you can't move your hand any closer, right? Yep. You just basically lean down on that. Oh, okay. And so you can apply like heaps of pressure. You're basically just like yeah. using your body weight. Yeah. Um, the danger with the press is when your hand's more out here. Yep. You can't do that. And then Because if this, if your hands want to go that way and you're getting close to being outside your shoulder, yep. uh, puts a twisting force on your upper arm, yep. which can snap because it's not designed for twisting forces. Okay. But if everything's in a line, yep. very mechanically sound. Okay. So it's just something to be mindful of. Yep. But yeah, because of that, that like have to be very table wear, mm -hmm. generally I recommend going outside, like doing a top roll, so trying to get over the top of the hand to crack someone's hand back, because yep. that's all pulling backwards and you can't break down and you're pulling backwards, right? Yep. Like doing a bicep curl or a pull up or whatever. Mm -hmm. so that's like the safest way to start off. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely an option.